Hi, this is Jacob Anderson, and this video is about the Shopsmith's Mark V's Quill Advance Mechanism. I got a call yesterday, somebody having problems with theirs, and it's a common enough problem. It's time for me to make a video about it. Uh, the Quill Advance Mechanism sits inside the headstock right here, and it's responsible for you allowing you to push the quill forward and back like for drill press mode or lock it at extend it out for different things like using it with the lathe or just adjusting things in a small amount and so you can lock it in place you can do drill depth stops uh, it's got the spring loading so for drill press it should snap back into position so this here is an entire quill uh, advanced mechanism it sits inside the headstock this is all that you see from the front from the back you see from here back frequent problems with them is just gunkiness of the quill not extending so you might have to take your quill out to clean uh, gunkiness could be caused by dust buildup in the rack here uh, you could have some rust or corrosion inside this channel here so you might have to scrub that out so those would be reasons to uh, at least take the quill out to clean it up so it could extend better but frequently the uh, spring is broken or detached and I'm going to show you some tips about that but to remove this whole thing first you have to take off the front pieces just the big wing nut here then you can take this out a little lock washer this will still be in the headstock. There's a set screw on the top here, buried under putty, so you'll have to dig the putty out, loosen the set screw, and then you can tap the shaft back and out like this. You might get caught up um, with this domed washer hitting this little spline here, so you have to let it go over to get the shaft out. So then you'll end up with these two pieces loose. So then at that point the shaft is, is coming totally out. And either after or before you can take off this wing nut here. Then you have serrated washers, rough washers on both sides of the depth stop gauge. Sometimes there's a final washer right at the very end. But here you have <clears throat> a uh, snap ring, and to work with the uh, spring housing itself, you would have to remove the snap ring with some snap ring pliers. That's kind of tricky. They don't give you a lot of room to work here, plus you start hitting these threads, so it usually takes you a while to work this up and off. But once you've uh, removed the spring housing, again, again, only do it if necessary. You might find various problems. Uh, this is what the shaft itself looks like with everything off of it. There's a little, I call rivet here, just a little bolt head. And your spring has a little um, keyhole, a little keyhole slot in there that goes over that rivet. So frequent problems with the springs, the rivet or the, the keyhole can be broken right here so it wouldn't hold. So the spring actually broke off right there. You can have severe bends and this one also is tearing so it's about to break. Uh, if it's been turned the wrong way it could be folded totally incorrectly. So all of those are situations where you pretty much have to replace at least the spring. I believe Shopsmith still sells just the spring, but I just use the whole housing because that spring is pretty hard to load. This is what it looks like when you, if you do get it spring by itself. It's very strong, hard to wind into that little space. But here's one that's in good condition here. The whole keyhole is present. So to get it back on, I typically put the shaft onto it, get the rivet in about the correct position, 
then we use a small dental pick or a small screwdriver and hook into the slot. This usually takes you a few tries because you're fighting the spring and trying to grab everything. Sometimes a small screwdriver will work too. But basically you just have to get everything close together, try and get it up over that rivet. And it's it's frustrating, you, you can see. I've done a bunch of these and it's not an easy <laughs> easy thing to do. So you just have to kind of fidget with it. But uh, the easiest I've found is typically one of these hooked dental picks. This one here is kind of bent up. I should be using a different one. So anyway, that's the idea. Get that back up and over and carefully make feel it. Make sure it's contacting. Get that snap ring back on and then you can reassemble everything. And about the only trick is this domed washer sits on the front side of this ear here like that. You don't have the dome facing in. And you don't have the dome between these ears. The dome has to be there to allow you to tighten tighten the uh, quill lock down. All right, so go to my website here. You'll find access to lots of good information, including my other YouTube videos on maintenance, on troubleshooting, on repairs. You'll find access to my web store where I sell parts. I don't sell any of these parts you saw in this video. Uh, you'd get those from ShopSmith because I just don't, don't stock them. So anyway, uh, go to my website. Tons of great information there for your headstock needs. Thank you.